please welcome Outagamie County Executive Tom Nelson. Greetings from the Tom Nelson for U.S. Senate Campaign Headquarters. Yes, it's also my garage, and yes, I shop that wood myself. My kids, Mary and George, are playing inside, kind of loud, and if they make any noise, it will make a lot more sense than anything coming out of Ron Johnson's mouth. But as reprehensible as Ron Johnson may be, he may be tougher to beat than Donald Trump. And to beat this guy, we're going to have to win up here in the Fox Valley, and something that we as Democrats have struggled to do. And it's not just here in Outagamie County, it is all over. We need to do well in Marinette County, in Marathon County, in Washera County, in Adams County, overlook counties that have cost us elections. I grew up in Lillishoe, population 7,907. I've been elected six times in this red county, three times as an assemblyman, three times as a county executive, the office that I now hold. And I've won because people know that I'll work hard. I'll tell the truth and I will always have their back when push comes to shove. And this is what Wisconsinites want. Someone who will put their interests ahead of Wall Street and the big banks. And that's what we did when we fought to save the Appleton coated paper mill from a scrap dealer and we won. We kept 300 good paying union jobs in our community. And that's what we did when we set up our own COVID testing sites. We built our own vaccination clinic from scratch. And when we adopted our own mask order after the Republican Supreme Court struck down Governor Evers' order. In the assembly, I took on the payday lenders. I led the fight to save senior care. And when a state budget was over 100 days past due, I called out both Republicans and some Democrats. I know that I'm the underdog in this race just as I was when I won an assembly seat in a Republican district and in a Republican year. I didn't have millions of dollars then and I still don't have millions of dollars now, and nor should I. This race ought not to be a competition of bank accounts or pedigrees, that is not who we are. Two thirds of the US Senate are millionaires, including Ron Johnson. Adding another billionaire or millionaire is not the answer. We need a true champion of the people, someone who's been there and knows the challenges facing working families. Growing up in Little Shoot, I worked on my uncle's farm baling hay. I bust tables at a supper club. I stock shelves at a grocery store. I shared a paper route with my best friend and I hauled pulp at a paper mill to get through college. In the US Senate, the millionaires and the billionaires look after their own. That ain't us. That is why we haven't taxed the rich, why we haven't made it easier for workers to organize, why we continue to have racial inequality in this country, why we have allowed over 1,200 Wisconsin family farms to die off in the last decade. That's why we don't have Medicare for all, and we don't have a Green New Deal. This party, each and every one of you, has the awesome responsibility of nominating our best, our most experienced and qualified candidate to beat Ron Johnson, someone who's won elections in tough years and in tough districts, someone who's been around the block and does not need on the job training, someone who will always put the interests of working families ahead of the big money, the big banks, the big corporations and the big interests. We've nominated an underdog before we can do it again. Thank you.